And let us begin, if we could, with Ilya Topuria. Raymond, I'll start with you. Let's do it. You know, he's a big game player, and that says nothing of his vast skill set and the tremendous support system of coaches. I think sometimes when you have a guy like this who is, while training, he's off the radar. You don't hear a lot from him in Spain. You know, he has these magical quotes about seeking perfection in training. And uh, this was a near-perfect performance. He did get touched a few times, certainly by a gamer than ever, Josh Emmett. There was a big connection by Josh Emmett in that fifth round after Many people thought the fight could have been stopped after four, but what were your thoughts on just a wild main event and a dominant performance for the Spaniard, Ilya Topoli? Yeah, I mean, first thing that comes to my head and while I was watching is the beauty that is in simplicity. That's what was going through my head. Here's a guy, here's the difference in the fight. You had one guy punching in balance and one guy punching out of balance, leaping forward. Big shots could always land something, but one guy was always in balance and he worked behind that jab beautifully. Uh, I give the guy a 10, 10 on the fight IQ. Just when yeah. the fifth round, the only chance this guy had would be to come back with a huge shot, which he was trying. He answered that bell, man. He came out like you could say, stop it. Listen, this oh. is what these guys decide to do. But he responded. He knew what he needed to do. Just at that time, he gets taken down. You know what I mean? So, again, fight IQ wise, give the guy a 10 out of 10. Uh, just a simple, beautiful performance. Those are the performances that I love, man. They just, what do he do? He had a jab, some combos, good defense, a couple of leg kicks, top of the yeah. world. I, I can't say enough about how beautiful that fight was for me to watch. And that's, that's what I like out of, out of fighting is what I saw from Ilya Tapuria that night. Kenny, I think the height of your value is sort of analytically after big performances like this involving elite fighters. So I will lay out and uh, let you sound off on what you saw out of Ilya Topuri over the weekend. Yeah, you know, I, I was kind of waiting for this kind of performance. Um, this is the one where it sells me completely, where I'm like, OK, this is not only a guy that will fight for the belt. He could win the belt. He might be one of the few who could actually challenge Volkanovsky uh, in all those different domains that is mixed martial arts. Um, and I think Ray said it beautifully, just beautiful fundamentals. And what I yes. like about his movement and his balance is the fact that he has his feints and movement, everything built in together like there is no like he's constantly in a nice rhythm and then he'll change up that rhythm and throw you off he can counter you he can go first he can go second um his exits are really pretty like he'll land a shot he'll get away you know and, and this is a guy in, in Ilya who i wasn't quite sure um if he was you know, so disciplined defensively. This one against Emmett, he had to be, Very. and it was absolutely that. And for for Josh Emmett, to me, it seemed like he was winging punches. He was hoping that Topuria was going to be in a specific spot, and he would just throw a huge shot. Topuria yes. was calculating every damn thing that was going out there, how he got in, how he got out. You know, he was throwing Emmett off balance or maybe Emmett was throwing himself off balance because right. he was trying to wing punches so hard. But either way, Topuria um, put on a master class and showed that he ha he is at a different level and he is ready for the next level. Maybe totally. I shouldn't have gone so deep on the stem cell stuff because I think we could spend 20 minutes on this fight itself. Yeah. On the Josh Emmett side, he's 38 years of age and – has fallen short against two fighters that I think we would all classify as elite now in Yair Rodriguez and Ilya Topuria. 2018, five years ago, Josh Emmett, post-Jeremy Stevens fight, suffered from vertigo, multiple facial fractures, an internal fracture of the orbital floor. This is a guy in the past who has had bone marrow injected from his back into his knee, and I understand that he still believes that he is in the shape of all these featherweights, and he proved as much this weekend. And I do still look at the top seven, top eight, and see winnable fights for Josh Emmett. This was a big setback, obviously, in terms of his championship aspirations at 38 years of age. But is it fair of me, as a fan of mixed martial arts, Ray, and as a fan of Josh Emmett, the individual, to ask if, like, sustaining damage like this is, you know, worth the price of admission, right? Because we're going to get into the 10-7 round four scorecard from Chris Lee that I'm in support of, right? And I'm going to get you the language on all of that and what constitutes a 10-7 round. I don't know. Maybe I'm getting softer, but I just don't love seeing a guy who's had historically facial issues 
uh, you know, absorb this type of damage, man. It's just hard for me to watch. I don't know. Yeah, no, look, I think you have every right with that opinion. Uh, but I tell you, when you go to the dictionary and you look up tough motherfucker, oh. it says Josh Emmett, this guy is tough. Even after a 10-7 round, he came out in that fifth round winging. Like, again, it's not like he was told to do something and he didn't do it. He did exactly. He did the only thing he could have done at that point. That was it. You know what I mean? And if the fight didn't get taken down and he started getting lumped up, I think then it's a case to, you know, maybe get him out of there. But uh, you had to give him his shot and he responded appropriately. Look, as long as these guys know what they're in for, John, that's the problem, right? They do know what they're in for. They trained for those type of beatings. I think at least they, they should be. And right. it, it's, 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 it's just a, each guy is different, but yeah. Josh Emmett would no, not have wanted that it. fight. So, yeah. I mean, like, again, can he take it? Can he not take it? Look, at the end of the day, guys, this shit is not good for you. You can't think any of it's good for you. you know, I, yeah. I tell you, I used to have a doctor, right? Train. He didn't even want to get jabbed in the head. Like, no, I don't want no, no head trauma at all. Like I said, light, you go, no, you know what I mean? So, you, as long as you know what the consequences are and you're well-educated on everything and what could happen and you decide to do it, it's like, you know, jumping out of an airplane, you know, doing yeah. uh, whatever that is. I mean, you got to know the re- the responsibility and or the repercussions that could happen, and that's it. So I, I know it looks bad, and I'm with you. I'd rather see everybody healthy, if that's what you're asking. But Well, no, I agree with everything that you just said, but I think the ignorance, Kenny, comes in the long term, what you can't quantify in terms right. of that damage. But, yes, Josh Emmett, after this fight, was completely clear of mind. His cardiovascular no, pace would have allowed him it. to fight a sixth round. Like, he was livid that he didn't win the fight, and when he heard the 50-42, to 42, Kenny – you know, he got yeah. even more angry because he obviously thought the fight was more competitive. He did yeah. land a lot statistically. I don't know, Kenny, you come from a yeah. medical family. Maybe he's fine. But for me, like the visual ain't great. Yeah, it's not great. Um, And, and the thing is, he, he's been in some really tough fights. And, you know, can he still be a, a top guy at 145 pounds? Yes. Um, and again, what, what the hell does my opinion matter? But if he came to me and he said, Hey, Kenny, what do you think that would be? And if he was one of my fighters, I would say, Hey man, listen, um, uh, unless we're going to change your style completely and really add in some things and you know, you're, you're committed to it. But if you're fighting this way, can you be a top guy? Yes. Will you ever win the belts? And, and that's probably his goal. And I think it should be the goal of everyone who is fighting at a high level. Um, I would say it's time to retire. Why? Because, you know, here's the thing. Um, it, it, you could be that perfect matchup and that is so tough, but not skilled enough. And if you are that dude that is very tough, but not skilled enough, you're most likely going to get a terrible beating. And then there's going to be another terrible beating against someone else. And what happens is, you know, organizations will will see that and they go, well, this is a tough guy. Here's a Tony Ferguson. Here's a Gaethje type guy. Yeah, Let me feed yeah. him to this up and comer. And what you end up becoming is a punching bag. Uh, and, you know, I, I think for some of these guys that have respect for themselves, that have been around the game for them, you know, for a long time, you don't want to be a punching bag. I mean, you look at I, I hate to use an example. Look at BJ Penn. Where you know, it's awesome because you're like, man, that's awesome. You still want to fight, yada, yada, yada. But, man, this is not who you are at this stage of the game. The car needs a new engine. We need new tires. You got no brakes. You got these things. And you're hanging in there. You're tough. But you're continuing to take way too much damage. And it's at that point where you go, all right, it, it needs to stop. And, and it, it's tough because there's that very fine line between extremely tough and extremely stupid. And, and we've all played that game, unfortunately, as fighters, as competitors. We think we could do more, and no one needs to tell me what I'm doing, what, you know. And, and that's where, you know, you have to be really careful, I think. Yeah, so, I mean, right. I, think, Sometimes, I think it's a little ahead. early, John. I, I mean, I think it's I, – I get that. I'm, I'm not – Early for what? Anything. I didn't call for him to retire necessarily. No, no, no. I'm just saying that – Early for what? Know, I mean, if he's getting a decent payday and he could provide for his family and, you know, maybe – change some things around or mix it up. I, I think he needs another fight or two to, to see that. If he's going to keep fighting the top guys, these are the top, top guys. And what Kenny's saying is 100% true. I don't think he'll ever win the title at this point. That's that's out of the question. But, you know, I think there were guys that made a decent living that 
you know, uh, never were the champion. And I don't know if he's in that position or not after he fought for the title or the interim title, but I'd like to see the guy get paid really adequately because he is a performer. He does give the crowd what they want. Is there a downside to it? A hundred percent. But there's a downside to every fight. There just is. It, I mean, just logically there is, you know, unless the downside you of get- the radiation flying to Australia. Yeah, right. The downside of a lot of you know. There's a hundred percent. So that's yeah. why I say if you're educated and you know what the downside is and you know what the upside is, you make the decision. I think that's what we're kind of, you know, founded on. We don't want to be told what to do. Uh, but it's gotta be an educated decision. And I would I go either way. Uh, trust me. I'm not I'm just saying like he fought two really top guys, and you're right, he had the facial trauma, but you know, uh, I would, it, it depends on a couple of things for me, but uh, he's certainly still game. And for 38 years old, the guy's actually a monster, I think. I mean, he's, that's, you got to give it up to him for that. But uh, he get, he takes another beating like that, then I'm 100% on board. But I think there's a couple of guys he could get through and, you know, big, big kind of big fights and and see what happens from there.